Hey guys, finally got in my Vostok Margolin in, in 22 short. Just thought I'd do a quick video to let you see what it looked like. And as you can see, it's a little different than my 22 long rifle version. A couple of different features. Got a threaded muzzle. And this extension on the grip. We'll do a more up close and personal comparison between the short and the long rifle versions sometime in the near future. So that's what it looks like from the left side. We'll turn it over and have a look at it from the right. Pistol is in pretty good shape except for the grips. Grips have seen some use and there's a chip out of the butt. But uh, overall I'm pretty pleased with it. The bore is in excellent condition. Okay, I've got a modest selection of 22 short ammunition to try out. We've got uh, CCI 22 CB shorts, 22 short hollow point CCI, some old Winchester hollow point shorts, old Imperial 22 short high velocity. Remington High Velocity 22 short and some old Winchester Standard Velocity 22 short. Let's have a closer look at the 22 short magazine that comes with this pistol. See it's serial numbered on the bottom to match the pistol. It's got a bit of a finger extension here on the bottom and it's got a loading button on the side. Now it's a long mag but it's marked 5 and 6 and uh, I can tell you from my experience so far that it doesn't want to work if you put any more than 6 shots in it. It uh, seems to jam up so just stick with 6 I guess. So there's six. The feed lips on this are different than on the 22 long rifle version as well. The trigger pull on this Margolin is, uh, is quite good. It's quite crisp and very light. And you can also adjust for over travel using this screw. It comes up inside the trigger guard and it limits how much rearward travel the trigger has. So basically you adjust this until the trigger breaks and then doesn't travel any further than necessary after the uh, the sear trips. This 22 version of the Margolin also dispenses with the external safety lever which is found on the 22 long rifle version, the other one that I have. I understand that some of the 22 long rifle versions are the same as this and they don't have any external safety lever. The only safety mechanism uh, on this particular pistol is the half cock notch. You hear it engage there and that basically keeps the firing pin from uh, having a hammer resting directly upon it and it also cannot be fired in that uh, particular mode but a lack of uh, external safety is not really a big issue for a firearm of this type because it's meant to be used as a target gun which means it would be either unloaded on the bench or loaded and being fired Another interesting thing about the 22 short version of the Margolin is that the slide is actually made of aluminum. It's not steel. And that's to reduce weight and of course assist with cycling the low power of the 22 short cartridge. 
and unlike the 22 long rifle version, this one has ears milled into the back to assist in uh, cocking the slide. The grip frame is also different than the 22 long rifle version. You can see the grip frame actually runs quite far back past the hammer and it's covered up by these wooden grips but it runs all the way back to here and that uh, gives your hand quite a bit of support. The grips are equipped uh, in this case for a right-handed shooter. It's a thumb rest type grip and it's also contoured on this side for your trigger finger. Somebody in the past has been at these obviously contouring them for their hand so the grips are kind of ratty looking and they do have a chip out here. You'll notice on the bottom there's a slot and that slot and this milled portion of the frame were to accommodate a, uh, a clamping piece which went on from the bottom so you put your hand on and run that clamping piece up and uh, that was another feature of the target style grip. I think I'm going to have a go at uh, repairing that chip piece and refinishing those because it really takes away from the look of the gun. It's actually in reasonably good condition otherwise. Let's have a closer look at the rear sight on this pistol. You can see that it's a fairly generously sized U-notch and this blade portion here moves back and forth on the support on the bottom, the, uh, the bridge. That's one of the Margolin's more famous features is the fact that the rear sight is mounted on a bridge rather than being on the uh, slide which reciprocates. And to adjust the rear sight there is a click adjustable knob here which adjusts the sights left or right to compensate for different types of ammo. And we've also got a lock screw here. So once you've arrived at a good zero you can lock down the sight to keep it from moving accidentally. The front sight is also adjustable. There's a knurled wheel here on the bottom and turning the knurled wheel either depresses or elevates the front sight to adjust for the point of impact up and down. We've also got a lock screw here. Once you've arrived at a good zero you can tighten that lock screw down and that will clamp the sight. See there's a split in the front of the sight and that screw runs through there and that will compress and keep the uh, sight from moving. You'll notice the threads on the muzzle those are actually for a compensator. Um, this pistol was designed for a 25 meter ISU rapid fire competition and uh, back in the day that this was used they were equipped with a small compensator. Unfortunately it was removed by the importer. Okay we've got six rounds of CCI high velocity 22 shorts. Load her up and give her a try. Well, that works well. All right, here's a group 25 yards with the 22 short Margolin with uh, the CCI 22 short hollow point. It's 27 grain, 1105 feet per second according to the box. And 
One, two, three, four, five, six. Nothing special there. All right, next up I'm going to try the 22 Short CB from CCI. And these are a very low velocity load. But uh, my buddy who sold me this pistol has one of these pistols and he said his would cycle these. So we're going to see. This is an older box. I think these are doing somewhere are in the vicinity of 700 feet a second. So we're going to see if these things will cycle the pistol or not. All right, here goes the CB shorts in the Margolin 22 short. See if it'll cycle or not. Wow, that's cool. It works. Try a few more. There's absolutely no sensation of recoil. The slide just moves back and forth and cocks the hammer. That's pretty cool. Okay, there's a six shot group, 25 yards, with the Margolin 22 short using the CCI CB shorts. We got one, two, three, four, five, six. Better than I thought it'd do. All right, we got some Remington 22 short, high velocity, round nose solid, and there's a 25 yard group with that. Once again, nothing special. All right, there's another 25 yard group with the 22 short Margolin, and that was fired with a an old box of. CIL Imperial, that's Canadian made ammunition, probably 25 odd years old, high velocity shorts, copper coated. Five of them went in a good group. We got one down below here to open it up, but not bad for old ammo. Okay, there's another group, and this is with. This old Winchester 22 short hollow point, and that would be a 27 grain loading. Got one down here, but the other five are okay, not Okay, there's a group. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that was fired with these Super X Winchester 22 shorts. I think those are standard velocity, but I'm not entirely sure they are. A round nose solid, they'd be 29 grains.